Welcome everybody to another YouTube video. Um, today I wanted to show you guys um, what I did to, um, I guess, black out almost in a way you could say my Copa Mundial. As you can see, I did um, put a Sharpie over it, um, try to black it out that way, but it looks a little, I, I don't like the way it looks because it's not a really dark black. I did some stuff that um, I wanted done to the shoe. I don't recommend you doing this. I obviously have a lot of cleats so if one pair you know if this doesn't work out for me in the long run like I don't really care as dumb as that sounds um, but I don't recommend you do this if you're very hard on your cleats as well um, because I felt what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you basically, is I remove the three stripes and um, see from here, it might look black, but you can see how it kind of the finish of it, it's kind of reflective. And then if you hold it this way, you can still see the white lines. But basically what you're going to need to do this, if you're thinking about doing this, is a Sharpie and I'll explain everything why. Um, oh yeah, also I'm going to add... Uh, a strap to the tongue that kind of makes it give it that like retro look um, because I'm into like the retro boots right now um, I just want something that's old school you know I'm tired of all the new stuff I'm tired of all the you know no protection light things so this you actually just go to Dollar Tree um, if you can invest in, in more and uh, better elastic like a Joanne fabric something like that um, I recommend you do that. I don't know how long this is going to last. This, this was basically like um, a hair pack, um, hair tie thing. I don't even know from the Dollar Tree. So I don't I don't really know how long it's going to last, if it's going to last. Um, and then you'll need some Gorilla Glue for the strap. Um, and two, just to hold them in place. And the most important thing is the seam ripper that you'll need. So... With that being said, let's get started on this video and I'll show you guys how to do it. Let me know if you guys like this at the end of the video. So first things first, you want to take your scene ripper and go as far up as possible. And just cut away and it'll do it as low as you can. There, you took care of that. Then do that to all of them. Get as close as the edge without going through the shoe on the bottom, obviously. If you get through. Definitely don't want to put a hole in your shoe. So
so once you have all those cut take pull off a piece here and then you're just gonna go and take out all the seams from it like this go down All right, so after that's all finished and you got all that done, um, it's up to you if you want to um, uh, color in the, the white, if you can see it. See how you see that? So it's up to you if you want to color that in. The Copa Mundial part, I'm going to leave that just because. So I'm just going to take a little bit of Sharpie to color the white in. And that'll be okay. As you can see, the, that part probably doesn't look too good, but um, you can just keep filling that in later on just to cover up the white, get off all the excess stuff that's hanging there. Just do it on top as well. Okay, like I said, you can go through and take this all out or when you start playing with it, I'm pretty sure when you play with them, that's gonna get all that stuff off. It just gives it a little bit of a more blackout look. Um, I don't know how to black out the bottom part and I'm not gonna use spray paint because <laughs> I don't believe, I don't think you should spray paint your soccer shoes. Um, although I have interesting story um, I wanted white boots so bad and I only had some black Nike ones and I actually, I actually got some like shoe paint and painted them white like a dummy and let's just say that didn't last very long on, on you know I went and played with them and I was staining some some dude some kid had a, a black soccer ball, black Nike soccer ball, and my white paint was left all over the shoe, or I mean the ball <laughs> from my shoe. So yeah, that's kind of funny. White soccer shoes back then weren't, you know, a popular thing or as common as they are nowadays. So now everybody wants to go back to the black, which is why I'm blacking out this couple of yeah. Okay, so now that you have all your stripes all taken off, the only thing you want to do left is then take your strap that you have. Um, take your strap and pull out these here real quick. And then this is where you're gonna use the, the Gorilla Glue. Um, measure where you want it. I just put it at the edge of the tongue right here. That's where I put it. Um, so we'll see, hopefully this works. You don't even have to use a lot. This stuff is strong. And it smells strong, by the way, too, so be careful when using it. Don't get it on you. So once you do that, grab your strap, which you're gonna use. Place it on there. Oops. Place it on there. Hold it just for a little bit. I mean, this stuff dries really quick so you kind of want to be quick okay and then once it's on there you take your little paper clips and just just hold them on there right there doesn't even have to be a lot or put on there really good just enough to hold it in place and that's what it'll look like 
final product. Now, your final product, I already did one shoe. As you can see, I only did one. Let me show you guys what it looks like. All right, so after it's all said and done, this is what your shoe will look like after you take some more of those things off. Once you take them all off, this is your strap. As you can see, it's on there pretty good with the glue. And you can just pull this down. And yeah, cover up your shoelaces. I just tied these right here just to have them out of the way. And, it, and this is on there pretty good. It's on there pretty strong. Um, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, like I said, I do recommend if you can get a better elastic, um, you can try that. Don't go to the Dollar Tree like me. I was just in a hurry, just saw some things, and this just came to my mind uh, recently. And I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this, give it a shot. Um, because as you see, I already had them blacked out, but it just wasn't enough, and I wasn't wearing them. But now I will wear these. Definitely give that old school look if you look up, um, you know, probably from 97, 96 before, they all looked like this and they all had a tongue like that pulled down and they were all black boots. Um, so one thing I will say, um, it does change the feel of the shoe a little bit, but not too much. Um, this did give it a little bit of stability, but I feel this is more like a barefoot feel now. and. It feels way much better to me just walking around with it. Like I said, if you're hard on your boots, I wouldn't recommend doing this. This does void warranty, but also drawing on them or coloring them in does as well. Like I said, I I don't need soccer shoes. I don't really care. Um, so that's why I went ahead and did this. Um, but it does give it a little bit of different feel. Not a bad, not in a bad way at all. But like I said, it's not going to feel as, um, you're not going to have that like it's not even a lockdown feel it's just I don't know ever know what it is it's just stiffer right here and now without this the leather feels way much better and softer um, so I hope that I didn't ruin them a lot of people are probably gonna comment or say that I ruined them um, but like I said these are just my practice that I'm gonna try to make my game boots um, I'm gonna try to play in these more uh, so yeah Hopefully you like this video, um, give it a like, comment, subscribe. If you want any more customizations or anything like that, you want me to come up with more stuff, let me know and I'll be glad to uh, make videos on that. But that's my video. Hope you guys liked it. See you guys in the next one. Peace.